guys welcome to my channel in this video we'll be speaking on our authority in christ i just wanted to um speak on this as god has um clarified this for me uh, this is something that i've been praying for on and sometimes we're in christ but we're not fully comprehending uh the power the authority that we have in christ how to use our authority how to walk in our authority right uh because sometimes we think we're just saved for heaven and we're living a miserable life in the earth and god doesn't want it that way um when god when god died on the cross and when he rose from the grave it was not just for salvation but it was also for us to walk in victory um whether it be over sickness um and just know that we our circumstances that we're facing we have the authority through christ to change our circumstances um by being obedient to the Holy Spirit and by um, just allowing him to have full, complete control in our lives and also by the words that we speak. And so I just want to uh, touch on our authority in Christ. And before I go ahead and dwell into this message, I just want to, uh, pr I pray um, that you guys are having a blessed 2022, uh, that you're able to walk into your purpose and walk into God's promises over your life. Okay, that's my prayer for uh, my viewers for 2022. Um, if you're not in Christ, God will lead you to him before it's too late. How does it profit a man to gain this whole world but lose his soul? Um, sometimes we lose sight that our soul is our most valuable asset, right? It's not only valuable to Christ, but it should be valuable to us as well. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to our authority in Christ. And um, I just want to go ahead and show you guys this book that has helped me a lot. Um, I watched the, the videos on YouTube um, by Kenneth Hagen, and also I purchased this book, which I got for like $12.12 .12 on Amazon. So it's a very good buy. Um, and it it breaks down, um, he speaks on the, um, the scriptures that aligns with um, our authority. And that's one of the things when you're listening to different speakers, if their word, if the words that you're speaking does not align with the scripture, we have to be careful, right? We want to ensure that the words that people that they're speaking aligns with God words. If it goes against God words, then it's wrong. Um, and so I ensure when I'm reading that I'm going to the Bible and I'm ensuring that it aligns with what God says. Um, so we want to ensure that we're doing that. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to my scripture that I will be reading from, which is in Ephesians, and um, that prayer that Paul prayed over the Ephesian church um, in regards to their authority in God, opening their hearts so they could get a full understanding of who they are in Christ. First scripture is going to be taken from Ephesians 1, from 17 to 23, okay? And the, um, here Paul says, I keep asking that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the glorious Father, may give you the spirit of wisdom and revelation so that you may know him better. I pray that the eyes of your heart may be enlightened in order that you may know the hope to which he has called you, the riches of his glorious inheritance in his holy people and his incomparable great power for us who believe. And it says that that power is the same as the mighty strength he exerted when he raised Christ from the dead and seated him at his right hand in heavenly realms. Far above all rule and authority, power and dominion, and every name that is invoked, every name that is invoked, not only in the present age, but also in the one to come. And God placed all things under Christ's feet, right? So it says that, I, I added Christ there, but he said God placed all things under his feet, which is Christ. And he appointed him to be the head over everything for the church, which is his body. The fullness of him who fills everything in every way. So I'm going to speak on the end part of what I just read, where it says God placed everything under his feet which is christ's feet and he appointed him to be the head so christ is the head right over everything for the church 
So Christ is the head over everything for the church, which is his body. And who is his body? The body is the church. So if you are in Christ, you are the body of Christ. Right? So when Christ is seated in heavenly realms at the right hand of the Father, if you're in Christ, you're his body. You're attached to the head, which is Jesus Christ. He is the head. And we are the body. And so that's why God needs, um, God uses us in the earth. We are God, we are an extension of Jesus Christ in the earth. And I, sometimes we even make up these phrases, we are his hand and his feet and his mouthpiece because we're connected to Christ through the body. And so when, when, when the father placed everything under Christ's feet, everything is under the feet of the church, which is the body, which is us individual people make up the body of Christ. And so when we're in Christ, yes, and God appoints us the different, uh, with different gifting and he appoints us with different positions, but we all have authority and power in Christ, right? We all have that same authority. Uh, some people may have the gift to, of healing. Some people may have the gift of, 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 um, encouraging. So we have different gifts, but in Christ, we have, we all have the authority that Christ, that was given to Christ. And so, and, and, and henceforth come these scriptures. I used to read this scripture and it said, oh, but he's placed in heaven and realm, not fully understanding that when Christ sat down at the right hand of the father, when Jesus Christ sat down, we sat down in him. When Jesus died, um, and that's why he said that um, when we are in Christ, we are no longer who we used. We're no longer our, um, our old selves. We are new in Christ. All things have passed away and all things have become new. Because the minute we accept Christ and we are born of his spirit, then that old man died. And now we're a new person. And so for us to fully understand who we are and our authority, we have to spend time in the word, spend time with God. And so when Christ when Christ rose, when Christ was risen from the dead and he sat down at the right hand of the Father, we sat down in him. And that same authority that is in Christ is in us. It's in us individually that makes up the body of Christ. All right. And so we, it's so important for us to understand that, that we are Christ. We are part of his body. We are Christ. Can the head function without the body? And can the, if you take your body from your head, can you function? No, the head needs the body. The body needs the head. And so when G, when, when the father placed everything under Christ's feet, everything is under our feet. And so we have victory, and that's why, and that's why the scripture tells us that we have authority and power over demons, principalities, and powers in this earth because we have the authority in Christ. We're seated with Him in heavenly realms, far above all the rulers of the darkness of this world, right? And 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 that's why God God instructs us that we have to come from among them and be He separate. I wanted to speak on that scripture. I'm going to tell you where that comes from. So I wanted to speak on a few scriptures in regards to uh, just the world. And um, and one of the reasons why we can't be in the world and be doing the things of the world and walk in authority in Christ. That's one of the biggest lies that the enemy wants us to believe. That we can come to Christ, live um, any way we choose to live and still walk in authority and power, it's not possible. Because remember, the scripture tells us, if you're of the world, then you're enemy of God. And so we have to separate ourselves from the things of the world. We're in the world, but we're not of the world. Um, and so who is, the, who is the God of this world? Satan is the God of this world. He's God of the world system, not the earth. The earth is the Lord in the fullness thereof. We have to separate them. So Satan is the God of this world. So the minute you're doing the things of the world, you're an enemy of God. All right? And um, I wanted to share the scripture as well, which is taken from 1 John five nineteen, where it says, We know that we are children of God. And that the whole world is under the control of the evil one. All right. And that's why we have to be separate when we're in Christ. We can't mix. We can't. Um, it's not that we're saying, okay, we're better. We're not better. But when you're in Christ, 
Your light is supposed to shine. It's supposed to be a difference. God says, come from among them and be his separate. I remember when I just, I want to share this testimony. I remember when I just got saved and I, I'm not a, a gambler, but you know, sometimes you, okay, you're, 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 you say, you're, okay, you're going to purchase a ticket or something. Uh, but I am not someone that um, purchased, buys ticket on a, on a regular basis. But even so, sometimes we, um, we want to normalize things and say, okay, uh, it's okay for me to do this. Nothing is wrong with it. Um, and I remember, I remember that day I said, okay, I'm going to stop and purchase a ticket. I left work and I stopped and I was in the line of the supermarket and, and, and it just came in my spirit, come from among them and be he separate. And I stood there for a minute and I thought, and then you know what I did? I came out of the line. Because we have to uh, have sensitive ears to when God is instructing us to 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 do to go the, a different way. The Holy Spirit is there to lead us, to guide us, to correct us, right? And the Holy Spirit spoke to me and said, "Come from among them and be His separate." And so we want to um, say, "Okay, it's okay to do every and everything and still walk in authority in Christ, still be." Um, a, a part of God and it's, it's not true that's one of the biggest lies of the enemy and um, I, I didn't write the scripture down but it just came to me as, as far as uh, when it says there's a scripture that um, that says that um, when you're when we're off God we don't have the desire to keep on sinning when we're born of the Spirit of God that desire to keep on sinning we're, we will not be comfortable in sin um, yes, we may have our struggles. That's one thing, but there's no way we're going to be comfortable in, in, uh, doing, um, performing sin and not be uncomfortable, not be feel like, okay, um, th this is, this is not me. I have to, I have to change. Even if you're st struggling with a weakness and you keep praying and to, over time you get deliverance from that. But most of the time that's not the case in regards to we want to come to believe in sin and say okay we're off God and that's not that's not that's not what the scripture says right and so we have to ensure that we're especially in these times where there's so many different doctrines that not lining up with the word of God we have to ensure that our lives and and, and just the things that we're listening to where we're lining up with the word of God Therefore, come out from among them and be separate, says the Lord. Do not touch any unclean thing and I will welcome you. And this scripture, God was talking about them worshiping idols. But I think it applies to, it, not, it doesn't have to necessarily uh, mean we're worshiping uh, a, a, a thing that we created or uh, idols to say, because sometimes the things in our life can become idols, right? If we're um, letting these things take full control of our lives and not fully um, obeying God, they can become idols in our life, right? If God tells us to stop doing something and we feel like, okay, this thing is so, we can't let go of this thing, it's an idol because nothing is supposed to come before God. Right, and so I just wanted to speak on our authority in Christ. That our authority doesn't come from. Sometimes we're like, okay, I don't feel like, um, I don't feel anointed. I don't feel like I, I don't feel like I have the the power or authority. I, but, but that's why we don't walk by, and that's why the scriptures so tell us we don't we don't walk by sight, and we don't walk by our feelings, but we walk by faith. Right, and so as long as we know we're, we're reconciled unto Jesus Christ in right standing with Him, then we have that authority in Christ. We may not feel like we have it sometimes. Sometimes the enemy may want even us to question if we're saved, but we have the authority in Christ. If you are reconciled unto God through Jesus Christ, there's no other way but through Jesus Christ, through the blood of Jesus Christ that was shed. Because that's the only way we can be reconciled. Because when, when Adam disobeyed God, we were there was separation, and so Jesus Christ uh, um, was that atonement for us to be reconciled back unto God. And so when we accept Jesus Christ, the old person died, and so now then when Jesus uh, was risen. We rose with him, that new man. And so the only way for us to find out who we really are is through Jesus Christ, through his word, 
through spending time with him to know our true authority in Christ. And this is what our authority can um, help us to walk in victory, um, to know, not accept the things that sometimes we see as normal. Um, of recently, and it's not the first time um, where I'm not feeling well and God has led me to put my hands on my body and pray and that that whatever I'm experiencing went away because that's my that's me using my authority uh through Jesus Christ. Sometimes we forget um who we are in Christ and we allow certain things to uh take to happen in our lives, but th that's a part of just learning uh just, just like a child learning to walk, right? We're learning how to function, how to walk in our authority. And, and stuff. Recently, I was having a sore throat and I thought it was my allergies. And, um, but I realized no matter what I, I did, it wasn't going away. And it was getting, it felt like some mornings I got up, it felt like I couldn't breathe. I remember one morning I had to put my hands on my throat to, to, and, and, and pray for just to feel like I'm catching breath. And I started saying to myself, this doesn't feel like my allergies. This is really, this is not, it's not sitting well with me. Um, it, it feel like something is in my throat. I can't get it to move. And I said, you know what? I need to go see the doctor. And I was, I remember I was in the a shower and it came to me. Um, I said, I, I, I was planning to set an appointment. It came to me, you know what? The same power that is in Jesus Christ is in me. And I put my hands on my throat and I said, in the name of Jesus, I command you to, take flight and i spoke to that thing in my throat and i said dry up right now in the name of jesus and sometimes we have to get like that we have to be like enough is enough and i said get dry up in the name of jesus and right now my throat is perfectly fine it went away and and, and god has led me to do that on um, multiple occasions as far as just uh putting my hands on my body and praying and 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 just um, experiencing God's healing power. We have authority in Christ and we don't have to necessarily be um, in a certain position. Every single one of us that has been reconciled into Jesus Christ has that same authority. And that's what I wanted to speak on today. Um, if, if, you have any, if, it, if you have any questions, feel free uh, to um ask me any questions that you may have. I hope this video was helpful for you. Um, feel free to go ahead and share with a friend, um, especially uh, someone that's uh, struggling with walking in their authority. Uh, okay, so one thing I want to, to um, encourage us to do for 2022 is start speaking to things. Uh, we need to not just pray about it, but we, we need to start speaking to some things and speak things into the atmosphere. The thing that we're praying for, the thing that we're uh, desiring, um, as long as it's lining up with God's word now, right? We're not going to start speaking some crazy things. We wanted to start speaking, um, um, for instance, if you've been praying for healing over your body, I want you to start thanking God, thanking God that you're healed by his stripes. Thanking God that whatever symptoms you're facing, I want you to start saying, thank you, Lord. I'm not talking about the sick because we have to watch our confession. I will speak in the next video about that. I'm not, not speaking what we're experiencing, but thanking God for what it should be. What not what not what it is, but what it should be. So I thank you, Lord, if you're struggling with pain and aches, that I'm pain free. I thank you, Lord, that you stayed on the cross and you died for me that I can walk in health and strength. I thank you, Lord, that I'm experiencing financial freedom. I thank you, Lord, that you've given me the wisdom because wisdom, God is wisdom. God, wisdom belongs to God and he gives us wisdom in all the affairs of our life, right? So if you're struggling with your finances, I thank you, Lord, that you became poverty for us so I can walk, so I can live an abundant life, not only, and see, God says sometimes we ask and we're, we don't receive what we ask because we ask with wrong intentions. What are your intentions while you're asking for what you're asking for? Um, I want to be blessed to be a blessing. If you want to be blessed just to say, I have this and I have that, that's the wrong reason, right? And so if you're asking from a right posture of your heart, then uh, start speaking these things into existence. Lord, I thank you for this. I thank you for um, whatever you're praying for. You just fill it with that space, right? 
and so we're going to start speaking to the thing um sometimes even if you're experiencing an issue and it's there before you and, it, and, and sometimes when you're dealing with something for so long it can seem like it's never going to go away and that's what the enemy wants us to think Right, we, we need to start speaking to those things. And so we're going to start walking in our authority and speaking. Uh, what not, not what it is, but what we want it to be, what it should be. Because we're not walking by sight. We're not walking by our feelings, but we're walking by faith. Okay, and we're going to stand in our authority and start speaking over our lives what God says it should be. Not what anyone else says it should be, whether it be... Um, the, the people that have spoken negative things over us are just the enemy that keeps whispering um, things in our ears that goes against God's words. We're going to speak what God's word says it should be, not what it is. Okay, guys, so I just wanted to give you a clear view of the book. I did not realize that I wasn't holding the book upright until after I was editing the video. Okay, so um, I do apologize for that, and I will leave the information in the description box as well.